Okay. So I've taken so, that idea and applied it to, I created my own SWAT matrix for women who are starting or running businesses, and I look at the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunity threats of women entrepreneurs, and they do have characteristics that um, so what are some of that the, are consistent. Some of, what are the strengths, the four strengths? Right. So women are really good at multitasking. Uh-huh. Yes, and yes, they yes, they do right. that very skillfully. It turns out, in fact, that there is not only cultural but hardwired biologic reasons for that. Women's brains are different than men's brains, uh-huh. and they have nerve cells that go back and forth across the brainstem in the middle much faster than men than in men. Oh, so, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I see that. I see that all the time. Just living with my husband, you right? Know? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm doing something. Can't you wait? Right? Yeah, I can do three or four time, four things, and he's still trying to figure out what his what he's going to have for breakfast. <laughs> right. So, so that's put that that really puts some science behind a lot of um, sex cliches. For instance, uh, you always hear women are really intuitive. And it seems to me that what that, te- what that boils down to is that women are very good at taking things from the abstract left brain, transferring it to the yeah. visual right brain, and then back again. So they see body language, they mm-hmm. see facial expression, mm-hmm. they see all the things about whether someone is actually getting what they're saying or communicating well, and then they can articulate it back because of that that fast transfer between the two. Men, on the other hand, are really much stronger in the left brain. Abstract, that's perhaps why they're better at things like science and physics. They have a more natural sure. aptitude. And so they look down at a landscape in, in, in 3D, geometric, abstract way, and they don't have to ask for directions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, then they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. They may, not, they may not know how, you know, literally to get it, but they have a good sense that it's in that direction and they'll head, you know, they'll keep moving yeah. in the direction. And that women, not so much. <laughs> Yeah. Thank, so, God so, for, thank God for GPS. Yes, exactly. <laughs> or remembering that, that sign on the left. I mean, I can remember things in 2D. So, I, I, you know, the bank on the corner, that's where we turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But, or Nordstrom's, but, you know, that's the way that goes. <laughs> but I'm hopeless at directions otherwise. You know, I really have to do it from memory or GPS. So, Me and, I, and I should say that... Um, Throughout the book, in the section you know that we just discussed, and the ones coming up, I take a lot of time to tell stories about women who are in the market, who are running businesses, uh-huh. um, making mistakes. They're very emotional. They're very personal. They're close-up color, so it's not just an overview. It's also someone on the ground trying to get things done. And um, I think there's nothing more valuable than hearing how someone stumbles yeah. if they're willing to share it, because. Right. That's how you. That's how you learn. You know, when someone yeah. makes well, mistakes. Well, that's what this show is all about. It's mm-hmm. the uh, struggles and the strengths, and and uh, unless you hear it from someone who's in the who's been in the trenches, uh, it 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 doesn't mean much. You have to the women who have experienced it and are willing to share it. I commend. I commend so much. I commend you for writing this fabulous book. Oh, thank now, you so much. So, okay, so our, the strengths are, we're intuitive. Okay, anything else? Oh, absolutely. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I, that I, list. I have a little chart in addition to writing about it. So I can, okay. it's, my, it's my little cheat sheet, actually. So they're good at building consensus, women. They, that was that collegial kind of idea that I mentioned before. Um, women tend to ask questions when they're going about a job, which, by the way, has pros and cons, because sometimes they ask too many. Too many? Yeah. That's also a weakness. <laughs> but, but they bring a lot of value to the party, so they don't um, just accept the way things are done. They say, well, wait a minute, can't you take a left turn? Why do we have to take a right turn? Mm-hmm. And that, that can be very effective. They're yeah. usually, women are usually good at, at empowering the staff and encouraging discussion. Mm-hmm. They right. typically don't get troubled when there's a lot of um, opinions being raised. Some Men's management style tends to be command and control. You know, I'll give you information when, mm-hmm. and I'll reward your performance and you report to me and that's it. Okay. And women not so much, so, so that's a strength as well. It, that can turn, you know, spill over into being a little too complacent and 
it just depends. Um, women also are extremely good uh, with online communities and sharing uh-huh. and um, networking. Social, mm-hmm, exactly, uh-huh. and social yeah. media. Mm-hmm. Um, I mentioned they're very good at communication, so they're really good at customer service as well and, and things like that. Um, on the weakness side, uh, women yeah. just defer. They don't want the spotlight very much. They don't feel comfortable in the limelight. They undersell their accomplishments, you know. Um, they don't tend to take credit for their own um, performance. They'll say, oh, it was a team effort. It wasn't just me, even though oh. they led the team. And they, did, you know. they sure. tend to be a little risk adverse. They don't want to take a leap uh-huh. as, as yeah. easily or as quickly as men do. And then in business, they have a tendency to ignore the financial dashboard. Not a great oh. idea. Mm-mm. They sometimes, when they start out as uh, newbies, they can use they confuse volume with um, profit. <laughs> so, oh, let me see. I'll just I'll I'll sell this at ten cents instead of forty five cents, and I'll sell a lot. You know, I'll sell like a real lot, and of course that doesn't work. You know, yeah. so they, so they don't sit down and figure out their margins and it uh-huh. needs that kind of analysis. Um, they need and, help with their business plan, right? Some some women do, and you know um, they don't necessarily want to write one. Um, but I think I think given um, crowdsourcing, given yeah. networking online, given all sure. the changes that that formal business plan is. Perha- I mean, you do need a plan, you need strategy, but you, perhaps that old conventional business plan is not as crucial as it used to be. Yeah, the playing field. I I just can't believe how much it's changing and. Mm-hmm. Every day, uh, it's just an amazing uh, experience, especially the source funding, and that that is a whole new concept. That's fairly recent, isn't it? Crowdfunding? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, absolutely. And I, it's, I think it's a game changer, uh, especially for women, because um, there, there's, I'm sure you've heard and most of your listeners have heard that there's just a very difficult time for women trying to get funding. I mean, most... Um, bank lenders, most yeah. investors, most venture capitalists are male. Um, most of the time they're going to fund people who look and sound and, and move like they do. And um, the numbers are just excruciating. It's like uh, 4% of venture oh, capitalists wow. who have decision-making power who, who are women. And, and so crowdfunding um, yeah. mm-hmm. means you can go online, you can pitch your company and find peers. You can find women in Australia who might give you money if you're in America. Um, uh-huh. There was, for instance, a, a couple of grad students in Indiana at the University of Indiana in Bluefield who came up with this idea to do a doll that was called Miss Possible. And they, they wanted to do a doll that was um, inspiring, <laughs> inspiring young girls, toy for, for little girls, that would be uh, the scientists of uh, the ages who are women, like Madame Curie, uh-huh. and and that would be. And so they did a they did a crowdfunding campaign. They came up with sixty grand. <gasps> Isn't that great? And they they were able to find a manufacturer in China because it turns out that there are no more doll manufacturers producers in this country. They're all gone. They've all folded. Sure. So they yeah. found yeah. they found a doll producer in China. They got a prototype done. I mean, it's just amazing what, what you can do. These, these, <laughs> these young women are like 22, 23. Oh, how I love hearing the story. You know, actually, you're inspiring me because I'm always looking for sponsors. So I may just put my show up on crowdfunding and Absolutely. go into the go into the big time and it'll be you will be my inspiration also my inspiration are my dear dear sponsors who i adore and love we're going to hear from them right now and we'll be right back with johanna are you living the life you always wanted is your relationship fulfilling or a constant roller coaster ride do you know how to chart your own path if you are sick of struggling overwhelmed stressed but desire balance emotional freedom and a purposeful life, then it's time to try something that really works. Dr. Casey's unique result-oriented emotional mastery technique will teach you how to be your own therapist while empowering you to be your best. Learn more at drsimoncasey.com. That's drsimoncasey.com. From cowgirl to caregiver to consultant, meet Becky Fiola 
author of The Elder Care Consultant, your guide to making the best choices possible. Growing up on remote ranches across the western states, she tended to orphan creatures large and small. Later on, that nurturing instinct served her well as the primary caregiver for her late husband. And now, she offers hope and guidance as a consultant to the elderly and their families. When you need advice on caring for an aging loved one, you can find those answers and her book at Amazon.com and her website, www.assistedlivingadvantage.com. Do you want to learn how to live into your dreams? One Door Closes, Overcoming Adversity by Following Your Dreams. The new book by Tom Ingracia and Jared Kredimsky captures the thought-provoking stories of 16 people from all walks of life who have triumphed over adversity to achieve their goals. Plus, you'll get 10 self-assessment tools to design your own blueprint for success. Unlock your true potential. Fulfill your dreams. Be inspired. One Door Closes is available from Amazon.com. January Jones wants you to grow your business fast, getting free PR, doing interviews with podcasters and internet radio shows. Grab your free copy of our audio how-to course called How to Build Your Business, Get More Email Subscribers, and Make More Money Free doing podcast and internet talk radio interviews. Grab your copy right now at realfasttalkradio.com. Again, that website is realfasttalkradio.com. Welcome back to Real Fast Success Stories with January Jones and my guest today, Joanna Kroats. Kroats, Kroats, I got that right. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and her book just came out today, Being Equal Doesn't Mean Being the Same. Now, uh, Joanna, let's talk about why a woman can't be a man. The threats. <laughs> the threats. There, there, are some, there are some obvious things, right? But what, what sure. I, I use that um, provocative line in the context of um, trying to say that they manage and they start manage and run businesses differently than men do, and yet somehow the powers that be, which have to do with lenders and uh, other people who judge performance, um, seem to think that they should be doing it that way. In other words, the, the, the male way is the default standard. Right, and okay. if women behave differently, somehow it becomes incompetent or wrong or weak uh, or lacking in confidence. That's my favorite one. It gets thrown mm-hmm. at women, and yet it's mm-hmm. I believe because they're not men. <laughs> they basically, <laughs> hello, they, yeah, hello. <laughs> they basically don't behave in the same way. So um, it's it's very kind of you to go through the book so so um, diligently, and the last section is about all of those things. So it's really trying to get down to to the service and the help that um, says here's here's how you can be true to yourself. And I cover um, the differences between men and women. His his way and her way. So for instance, oh, yeah. in in communications. Um, her way is that they delve into a lot of details. As I mentioned, they ask a lot of questions. They verify. They verify information. They verify data. Men, they just want enough information to get the big picture and one and done. You know, let's get cut to the chase. I don't want to hear a lot of details. So, again, if, if women are going to spend, spend a bit of time, whether they're a supervisor or, or, or an employee, saying, wait, uh, so... Is this the way you prefer? To, is this the good way to? And men are saying, "This is this woman. She just she 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 doesn't know how to do the job. You know, she's incompetent. Otherwise, she wouldn't ask so many questions." <laughs> okay, yeah. Right? Because oh, I, men yeah. roll up their sleeves. They get to the uh-huh. they get to the task at hand. Now, when the shoe's on the other foot, and the woman is the supervisor, and the guy is the is the employee or the one who has to fulfill the task, then. What may often happen is that he dives right in, and a woman supervisor figures he knows what he's doing because he didn't ask any questions. <laughs> I love it. I love the 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 yin as a, the yin and the yang, and the dynamics. And this is so wonderful that you've written this book that kind of clarifies things. And right. I, I can't can't help but think, you know, this would be mandatory reading in business. For any woman, and I, I think any man, I think it's it's something everyone should read. I'm, and I'm sure you agree with me. 
Well, I would hope so. But I also sort of refer to all this as the gender toolbox because I think the, the sexes can learn from each other.